Nigeria hopes to dig itself out of an economic hole with plans to have 50 mines operational by 2023. People are beginning to come to us. They're interested in coming down to Nigeria. And Mining if... Minister Olamile Konadebite says if it wasn't for lockdown restrictions, new players would already be entering the market as the country tries to grow the mining sector tenfold over the next five years and diversify away from oil where prices have collapsed. In particular, Adebite said Nigeria aims to process barite used in drilling for oil and gas for exports to countries such as Ghana and South Africa, which need the mineral to exploit new oil discoveries. Because right now, Morocco supplies the continent. I think we're closer to Ghana and we're also closer to uh, uh, South Africa in terms of uh, geography. So. I think we'll be able to compete with Morocco to supply those two countries. Africa's biggest economy was hit hard when crude oil, on which its economy overwhelmingly depends, plunged to two decade lows this year. Gold, on the other hand, hit record highs in August. By formalizing the artisanal mining sector, authorities hope to generate tax and royalties. But there is a problem. Most of Nigeria's gold is in the northwest where humanitarian organizations say it has helped fuel violence attributed to armed groups. Adebite said small-scale miners are being encouraged to form cooperatives and sell at government-run buying centers rather than deal with criminals. These are foreigners who come into Nigeria and hide behind the artisanal miners. Our artisanal miners are recognized for who they are. They are people who are into their subsistence living. So we're not criminalizing them, rather we're trying to uh, organize them into groups, into cooperatives, so that we can avail them with all the incentives. Adebite also expects more commercial gold miners to be attracted to Nigeria once Thor Exploration's mine in the southwest starts producing. Its first gold is expected in the second quarter of 2021.